While it's very important for you to have your own technique, it's equally important for you to know the math behind. Let's find out the math behind the transposition method when solving linear equations. The transposition method is one of the most common methods in solving linear equations. It involves two different steps. Step 1 is the movement of terms to the opposite sides of the equation. And step 2, as we move those terms, we are going to replace their signs to their opposite signs. Consider this equation. We can move the negative 3 to the right-hand side of the equation, and by doing that, we're changing the sign to positive. As for x, we could also move it to the left-hand side and change the positive x into negative x. With this method, we're able to isolate the terms with the variable to one side of the equation. And by finishing, we could come up with a result which is x equals 2. But what is really the math behind the transposition method? The answer is the properties of equality. In the same given example, the properties of equality allows us to add or subtract terms on both sides of the equation. Here, we are going to add 3 on both sides. With this, we can simplify minus 3 plus 3 on the left-hand side of the equation into 0. For this moment, let us just leave in the meantime the constants that could be found on the right-hand side of the equation. And then, the next step should contain 2x is equal to x minus 1 plus 3. If we are to cover this middle part, we could actually just say that from the original sign of 3 which is negative found on the left hand side of the equation, it looks like it was just simply transferred to the right hand side of the equation with a change in its sign. From negative, it somehow looked like it was transformed into a positive 3. The similar concept is also what looks like to happen for x. As we subtract x both sides, we can assume that we can simplify the x's on the right-hand side of the equation. If we're going to cover the second part, we can see that it looks like the positive x was just transformed into a negative x. After moving the set variable into the other side of the equation. This sums up that the transposition method in solving linear equations is just patterned to the properties of equality. This is the math behind the transposition method. Hello everyone, please watch out for more Math Behind videos.